episode of Mom Makes. I'm your girl Mom I do DIYs, upcycles, and sewing projects. Today I am making another summer dress using McCall's pattern M8090. This dress is very special because the material I'm using in this dress is a three-piece cord shalwar kameez fabric that I got on my last trip to Pakistan. As you know, I'm from Lahore and in the summer, it gets extremely hot there. The only fabric you can really wear is cotton voile, muslin, and lawn fabrics. These are made with ultra fine thin cotton thread and are feather light. As a result, these are very soft on the skin. They have a soft wood feel and they feel amazing and they make the summer bearable. So digital printing is huge in Pakistan and it's done on a very large scale digitally printed lawns in fabulous prints and cords are easily available in the market. The fabric I'm using for this dress is a three-piece ensemble from one of my favorite brands in Pakistan and I cannot begin to describe you how fun shopping is in Pakistan. You walk into any of the stores and you're greeted with a delightful splash of color and print everywhere and I am a sucker for print. It makes my heart happy. So the way fashion works in Pakistan is that you either buy separates, which can be shirts or tunics or dresses, and you buy a shalwar or trouser or many variations of the trousers to wear with the tunic. Or you can buy the fabric yourself and it's often either a two-piece ensemble or a three-piece suit and you take it to your tailor and you design your own outfit or you show somebody who's dress you like a celebrity in a magazine for instance and you say can you make that for me and they make it for you at a few days notice. The textile for the cord sets consists of matching prints. So if you're buying a three piece set, for instance, you'll likely get a plain piece for the pants and an overall print for the top. It might have some nice detail printed out for the bib front or the collar or something like that. And a, a, a large piece of fabric for the scarf, which will have a very nice border. And each piece is like three yards. So it's a lot of fabric. And that's exactly what I did. I bought a three-piece set and you know I have a thing for prints and I tell you I was in print heaven because this is a perfect combination of block print, floral, and a geometric border. It's just so beautiful. The plain pink fabric for the pants, it has mixed print for the top and the one with the border is the dupatta with the scarf. I'm going to mix all of these up and design my dress my way. Some parts of this print consists of a bright orange color, which I will eliminate because I'm not sure the orange is harmonious with this color palette, so that's just not gonna work for me. But otherwise, I think the pink, the green, and the blue combination is just spectacular. Coming back to the McCall pattern, I'm making a combination of the view B and C in this pattern. I'm using the water pattern for the front lapel, which is sort of a bib, which I really like. And I'm using the water on the front bodice and the sleeves. The bodice and the sleeves will be the floral pink pattern. The ruffles on the sleeve cuffs will be the border. So playing with the border and the ruffle on the sleeves is perhaps the only customization I'm doing in this dress. Um, I'm making the three-tiered version of this dress, uh, which is shown in the middle. So the top two tiers will be the plain pink fabric and the bottom tier will be the border print. Since I have so much fabric, I might as well make a belt. All right, so we're all set. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and let's get started. let's start with the cutting the first step is to cut out the border i used a rotary cutter to get the job done i'm leaving a quarter inch seam allowance from the orange portion so i can use the water flush when the geometric pattern starts For 
for the front lapel, I'm going to cut out two mirror pieces from the border. It's really important that the print is perfectly aligned and matched so the join is seamless in the front. Once the two border pieces are cut, I align them very, very carefully and cut out the pattern piece. For the sleeve, I'm going to use the floral. To save some time, I'm going to fold and stack the fabric so the print is mirrored. Place the pattern piece on top of it and cut out two sleeve pieces. For the sleeve cuff, I cut out a piece of the border, about 1.5 the width of the fabric of the sleeve. The height of the border is perfect for the width of the ruffle, so I'm not going to cut it any shorter. All it needs is a simple rolled hem and I think that would be the perfect sleeve ruffle. I'm going to cut out the front bodice piece from the mixed print part of the fabric which was intended for the shirt. This is going to give me a green band at the waistline and the main bodice is still going to be pink floral. For the back bodice piece, I am using the pink paisley piece, which again, I think it was intended to be the front of the shirt in the suit. Um, I'm going to use it for the back though. So this is going to be the center panel and uh, on the sides we have the orange, which I don't want, so I'm going to replace it with the pink. And I'm not cutting out the pattern piece quite yet because I'm going to join these pieces together and then I'm going to cut out the shape of the bodice. Next, I'm going to cut out the neck band slash collar pieces. These are two front pieces and one connector piece for the back. I'm using the scraps of the pink floral for the neck band pieces so that the print pattern is seamless all over the bodice. Moving on to the skirt, I am cutting out the front piece and the back piece. These are cut out from the plain pink fabric. I only wish I had more of the pink floral, but oh well, what can I do? This is all I have. I'm sure it will look fine. The second tier of the dress is also going to be cut from the plain pink. I am not cutting this to the size of the pattern because I see no point in wasting like 8 inches out of the side of the panel. Um, I would just incorporate it within the width of the skirt and it would just end up with more gathers at the end and I think that's perfect. The third and final tier will have the border and the pink floral layer. So again, I'm cutting the length of these panels very generously because I have extra fabric. Basically a whole panel width of extra fabric. And um, I think it's just going to make the dress extra flowy, which I'm going to love, I'm sure.
All right, let's start constructing the dress. First step is to make the front lapel. For this, I'm using fusible interfacing, which I've ironed onto the back side of the lapel pieces. I've repeated the same on the neck band pieces individually. I gotta be honest with you, I did not like the stiff feeling of the front lapel piece once the dress was made and could have easily done it without the interfacing. So anyway, let's continue. I'm going to join the front lapel band pieces together. The piece with the interfacing is going to be in the front. Once joined, I will join them to the main lapel piece. I'm going to flip the back piece over, flip the edges in and top stitch it, making sure that this stitch line falls within the seam on the front side. Next, I'm going to work on the neck band. I will join the front and the back pieces together of each segment. Then I'm going to flip them out and keep them aside after ironing them. I'm going to join the front lapel to the main bodice. As you can see, the lapel piece is smaller in width than the opening that has been cut in the bodice. This is to make sure that there are some light gathers right here where the lapel piece joins the bodice. Since only a few gathers are needed, I'm just going to pinch the fabric with my fingers and I will pin them in place. Once the base is sewn, I will join the sides. To make them fit seamlessly, I'm cutting out a tiny notch in the bodice so that the fabric can swing around. This is what the finished front piece looks like. I think it looks pretty. I The pattern is all matching up. I really love it. What do you think so far? Next, I'm going to make the sleeves. I'll put in some gathers in the border piece. Um, adjust the gathers to fit the width of the sleeve opening. And then I'm going to join these two pieces together. And I'm going to search the edges of the pieces so on so far. Constructing a sleeve is pretty simple. There's nothing much that I did here. I just attached the border to the sleeve and I'm going to top stitch the yoke piece now. Next, I'm going to prepare the back bodice pieces by joining the side pieces to the middle panel. Next, I'm going to serge the edges and I'm going to lay the pattern piece on top of it and cut out the shape of the final bodice. I'm going to pin the front and the back pieces together at the shoulder seams and join them. Next, 
Next, I'm going to pin the neckband onto the bodice and start sewing. That's, this will join the neckband pieces around the neckline. I will fold the edge on the back side over and then top stitch the neckband in place. Once the neckband is sewn, I am going to go around and do a top stitch all over for a very nice and neat finish. Next, I'm going to close up the sides of the bodice and get ready to join the sleeves. I'm now going to close the side of the sleeves and I'm going to insert them into the armhole. I will pin the armhole and the sleeve pieces together and then sew the sleeves on. After a good press, the top part of the dress is ready. I'm now going to work on the skirt piece. This dress does not have pockets and I want to speak to the manager of this dress because why aren't there any pockets? Anyway, I have a pocket pattern ready in my arsenal and I'm going to just use a scrap of pink to cut four pocket pieces out. I am going to join these to the first tier of the skirt. I'll mark the location of the pockets very, very carefully on each side so that they line up when I sew the skirt pieces together. Starting from the top, I'm going to sew around the pocket and then close the side of the pen. To make the second tier, I need to first join the lens together. Then I'm going to close the sides and search all the edges. Next, I'm going to prep the third tier of the skirt. For this, I will join the border piece to the floral piece lengthwise. I will make a simple rolled hem at the bottom edge and then I will serge all the edges and put the gathers in. Again, the same process, just one stitch around the circumference of the skirt, pull the thread, make the gathers. Then I'm going to pin the third tier to the second tier in four places, the right, left, front and back. And I will use these as the reference points to adjust the distribution of the gathers evenly around the circumference. Then I'm going to join these pieces together by stitching them and that will complete the bottom part of the skirt.
who it, I've been watching the dropout throughout the making of this project. I think it's very good. It's the real life story of Therno CEO Elizabeth Holmes, who was a barefaced liar. The tech related story is my kind of thing. Have you watched it yet? It's amazing. It's a, it's a good show. Let me know in the comments below if you are a fan. Anyway, so I'm going to repeat the same process on joining the second tier to the first tier. I'm going to pin them in four places, left, right, front, center, and then I'm going to adjust the gather so they're evenly distributed throughout the circumference of the skirt. And then I'm going to sew the two pieces together. And at this point, just a tip, take your pockets, and pin them to the side so you don't accidentally sew the pockets into the next tier. As a final step, I will put some gathers at the top of the first tier before I join it to the bottom. The dress is now complete. I still have a lot of fabric straps left, so I'm going to join the pieces and make a belt out of it. For this, I used uh, the pink floral scraps as well as the border scraps, and I just eyeballed a nice distributed symmetric pattern uh, and made a belt. The back was just the floral print and then I folded it over, put some interfacing and did stitch lines all along the length many, many times to make a very nice substantial fabric belt. The dress is finally complete. If you like this video and if you liked my lawn for textile, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post videos pretty much every week. Here's the review. this one next please do check it out thank you so much for your support thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one